Welcome to Drona HQ. Drona HQ is a powerful developer toolset that enables you to build custom front-end applications incredibly fast. Quick platform demo. Let's say we have a list of prospects stored in our database whom we would like to nurture by sending them a series of emails. In this demo, we'll bring the information from the database to a front-end in the form of a table. Then, we'll also create a screen to compose our emails using OpenAI integration and send them out to our prospects. To start building, you can pick from the controls on the left or start with a ready screen template like this two column layout. To bring your data to the front end, head over to the bind data icon on top of the UI control. Under quick select, head on to connect a query. Here you can proceed with adding the query to get the lead details. Alternatively, you can also use Ask AI to generate queries for you. Let's save this and do a quick data transformation using JavaScript to change the country codes to a numeric format. You can see the data reflect in the table. You can further personalize the table, hide or rearrange columns, or even change column names or formats. Next, let's add a detail view control that has a unique property to display the details of the selected row in your table grid. Now that our first screen UI is ready, here is how we can change the color schemes to our liking. Now, on to screen 2 to compose and send out our emails. We'll use a tray type screen here and configure how it opens up and the space it occupies. So I've added text boxes and rich text editor along with an action button. Then I changed the color scheme to match the first screen. In the email field, we need to pull up the email ID of the selected table grid row. For the subject email body, we are using OpenAI integration. So let us set up an action flow on the screen open event. Choose server-side actions and pick the OpenAI connector to configure the prompt so that it generates our text for the subject line. We'll take the output in a variable to use ahead. Up next, let's add a JS block to transform the variable from the previous task so it is good to use. We will repeat the steps for the email body as well and then head on to add a set control value task so it pushes the values from the tasks above to the UI controls on the screen. Now back to the screen. On the button, let's configure the action flow to send out the email using a Gmail connector. Now that the second screen is ready, let's head back to the first screen and add a navigation on the contact lead button. Now that both the screens are ready, let's preview the app before we publish. In the logs, we can see parallelly how the connectors are performing. Now that you see that your app is up to order, head back and publish. Once published, you can go on and share your apps by inviting teammates or generating a URL or you can also embed the app inside an existing portal. Connect with us at inquiries at thronahq.com or take a free trial on www.thronahq.com to create production-ready applications 10 times faster.